Hi. This time I'd like to share a really quick but very effective trick with you. Have you ever been painting away, like this for instance? And you make a stroke, like this for instance, and decide that part of it you like but part of it you really don't. Wouldn't it be nice if you could keep the half you like and discard the half you don't? It's easy enough if it's over a clear portion of the layer, like this. All you have to do is get the eraser and just erase the part you don't want. But what if it's like this one, and it's over some stuff on the very same layer that you do want to keep? Are you doomed to just lose the stroke? It turns out the answer is no, you can use the history brush, it's very easy. Just go back to a time in history before you made the stroke. Let's see. There we go, that one will do. And all you have to do is click in the history well, and then get the history brush tool and just paint over the portions you don't like and they'll go away. Then you can get the paintbrush and you can redo it and make it do what you want. And if you still made a mistake, you can just get the history brush and paint that part out. And you can keep doing this until you have what you really wanted. If you mess up the whole thing, of course, you can just undo. You can keep doing it until you've closed your image or made so many strokes since the one you didn't like that the history isn't available any longer. You can even go the other direction a little bit if you have a snapshot. For instance, let's say that we made another stroke down here, and I decide I like this one, but I don't like any of that. Since I have a snapshot, all I have to do is click in the history well for the stroke I just finished, then go up to the snapshot, get the history brush, and I can paint back in that second stroke while leaving out all of the first stroke. Now this only works if there's no overlap, of course, since the history brush uses the entire image from that point of history. So if I keep on going, I can put this stroke back in in its entirety. But it can still be really handy. So that's um, just a quick little tip. And hopefully it will save you as much time as it saved me over the years. This has been Robin Wood, and I hope that you found this helpful.